Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam back today with a brand new NBA 2K21 build video. And today I'm going over one of the best center builds in NBA 2K21. Probably one of the most athletic builds in the game and also very, very fast and can also be a great playmaker on the team. But if you guys are brand new here, hit that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get 2,000 subscribers. And don't forget to drop a like on the video. Let's go for 25 likes on the best finishing center build in MA 2 k 21 Without further ado, let's get straight into it. The position is going to be a center. This is going to be a center build. Hand, I always like to go right-handed on all of my builds, no matter what. Jersey number does not matter, 82 cents, fine, but let's get straight on in to the pie chart for this finishing center build. Okay guys, so now for the pie charts, I'm gonna go with the pure blue, but I also think that the blue and red pie chart is also a very, very good option. I just think that the pure blue is a little bit better just because you're gonna get a lot more playmaking attributes compared to a blue red. So for that reason, I'm gonna go with the pure blue, the first pie chart on the list, the most finishing that there is. So click that right there. And now onto the physical profile. If you guys have watched any of my other build videos, I always like to go with the top physical profile, the fastest one. And this build is no different. I'm gonna pick the top physical profile, the one that gives us 63 speed and 58 acceleration. Right here, I'm gonna pick the top one with the most agility on the list. And now guys, we're gonna move on to setting our potential. So first for finishing, I'm gonna max every single stat. We're gonna be a 30 badge finisher, 30 badge finishing, 95 close shot, 95 standing dunk, and 95 post took right now. And now moving on to playmaking, we're gonna max pass accuracy, max post moves and then put our ball handling up until we get 20 playmaking right here so our ball handling should be a 36 with 20 playmaking badges on a pure finishing center we get 20 playmaking badges now for the defense interior defense block offensive rebound and then defensive rebound right here and we get 11 defensive such rebounding badges and obviously guys don't touch shooting at all this build can't shoot at all but this build gets one of the best badge counts i've ever seen at the center position you get 30 finishing one shooting 20 playmaking and 11 defensive that's like 62 total badges on a center build i haven't seen that many badges even on a center build in nba 2k20 and this is definitely the most badges i've seen on any build in nba 2k21 so guys make sure to copy every single attribute i did if you guys do want to get these 62 total badges of course 30 finishing one shooting 20 playmaking and 11 defensive moving on to the body shape doesn't really matter at all but i prefer to go with burly for all like center and big builds i like to go burly or built's fine too burly or built are both good body shapes for centers i'm just going to go with burly for this video right here and now for the height i'm a big fan of smaller centers now i think six foot ten is the maximum height you should go with i don't think you should go with six foot eleven i think six ten is the maximum height you should go with but i do think six nine is a little bit better just because you do get a 72 speed 69 acceleration and a 72 vertical and you just lose a couple of those attributes when you do go up to six foot ten and also making him six foot nine gives you plus 21 to driving dunk and plus 14 to driving layup so i definitely think making this build six foot nine is the best way to go but obviously six foot ten is also pretty good as well but definitely don't go above six foot ten definitely don't go like seven and three don't go six foot eleven but i highly recommend six nine for this build and now for the weight i'm actually gonna keep the weight the same i don't think maxing the weight on all center builds is the best way to go this year just because you're gonna lose a ton of speed and acceleration and you definitely want to have that on this build so i'm actually just going to leave the weight at 236 pounds keep it the same don't lose anything don't gain anything so i'm going to stick with the weight in the middle here at 236 pounds and moving on to the wingspan of course we want to max the wingspan we are a center build and we're going to get plus three to driving dunk so at a 99 overall you're going to have a 99 close shot 90 driving layup 99 driving dunk 99 standing dunk and a 99 post hook this really is the best finishing big man build in nba 2k21 and of course guys maxing out the wingspan helps out your block offensive rebound and defense rebound a ton as well so definitely max the wingspan on this build at 91 inches and moving on to the takeovers we have post scoring takeover and we have slashing takeover now i am a big fan of slashing takeover i think it is one of the best takeovers and it has been since nba 2k20 and i don't really think post scoring takeover is the greatest so i definitely think slashing takeover is the best way to go for this build i'm gonna pick slashing takeover right here and as you can see we have made the interior finisher build make sure to stay tuned though because i'm going to show you the best badges to throw on your new interior finisher build so for the finishing badges i'm going to go with hall of fame contact hall of fame fancy footwork hall of fame slithery hall of fame lob city finisher hall of fame pro touch hall of fame relentless finisher 
Hall of Fame consistent finisher, I'm going to put on Silver Putback Boss right there. Obviously, you have 30 finishing badges. Feel free to move them around however you want. There's plenty of different options to go with. I just think this is the best layout for your 30 finishing badges. But of course, feel free to change them up. Moving on to the one shooting badges, build can't shoot at all, so I just think slippery off ball is the best way to go. Pretty obvious, obviously, get open off the ball a little bit better, you can't shoot at all anyway, so might as well use the one shooting badge to help your game elsewhere. Moving on to my favorite part of the build, the 20 playmaking badges on a pure blue pie chart. I'm gonna go with gold unpluckable, quick first step gold, post spin gold, needle thrower gold, bailout gold, lob city passer gold, and then break starter on silver clearly guys 20 playmaking badges is a little bit overkill but i still think a lot of these are really good clearly unpluckable quick first step all these badges are pretty good i don't think any of them are really useless other than maybe break starter but still break starter could be useful if you are playing like threes or pro or more rec center in any full court game mode break starter is going to help you out a ton and now moving on to the defensive badges gold intimidator if you're going to be setting screens with this build gold brick wall bronze box silver room protector and then silver rebound chaser right there this build can definitely still play some good defense even though you only have 11 defensive badges anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on the best offensive finishing center in nba 2k21 this build is insane guys 62 total badges just in crazy crazy badge counts my favorite part of the build is obviously all the 99 stats for the finishing but also the 20 playmaking badges just overall a really good center build and you can't go wrong with 30 finishing badges on any build but if you guys did enjoy hit that subscribe button down below we're trying to do it too thousand subscribers as fast as we possibly can and also guys drop a like in the video let's go for 25 likes on my personal opinion on the best inside center build in the game like the best finishing center build if you guys want to watch more of my 2k videos i'm gonna leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous 2k videos that i think you guys would really really enjoy so have a great rest of your day guys it's been story of sam and i'm out peace